Well, if you love cars, this is your week. The one you've been waiting for all year. The New York Auto Show roaring back to the Javits Center with opening day set for Friday. Ooh, look at that. Our own Kimberly Richardson is getting behind the scenes. Uh, look for us this morning at what you can expect with the big show. Kim, I love this part. You know the part where you get to take the Jeep over the big ramp and then like rock and roll in front of the Javits? Yes! <laughs> yes, I've never done it. This is my first time. And they told me, they said, before you do it live, do you want to do a test run? I'm like, no because if I do a test run and I'm terrified, I'm not going to do it live. So this is a first time experience. Oh, oh, Kim. No. This That's show bold. is, I know, I know, I know. This is the first and largest event of this kind in the country. It actually started back in 1900 inside the center. There, there are nearly 1,000 vehicles on display, but outside here, there is a lot of fun. There are four test tracks. This is two of them, Broncos next door. This one is Camp Jeep. Why did I pick it? because of what Sam said. It is a crazy obstacle course, which we're about to do. I am not allowed behind the wheel, but Lauren is. She is a camp Jeep driver. Hi, Lauren. Hi. All right, we're going to do this, Lauren. So first, safety first. Yes, I have on my seatbelt. Don't tweet us. I got it on. All right, let's go, Lauren. So tell me about this obstacle course. You can go ahead. All right, here we go. Here we go. So welcome to Camp Jeep. Thank uh, you. We are going to go off-roading today. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is a new obstacle in the obstacle course. This is. We have two new obstacles for this year. This is called the crevasse. It's actually modeled after one of the trails in Moab. Super famous trail. Okay. We are truly off-roading today. Okay, that was easy. Step one. Yes. Step Sam, two. that was step <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. slow. Oh, slow. my. This is our second new obstacle. Oh, God. It's a bigger off-camber than it's been in the past. Okay, second new obstacle. It's yeah. bigger. It's taller. Here we go. This is going to keep all four tires at a different height. All four tires at a different height. Okay, okay. Yeah, so How really showing off that yeah. suspension nice and easy oh. again through here. Um, that was good. Step one and two, I'm okay. Right. I'm fine. Lauren, this is the reason you have this here at Camp Jeep is why? To really show off what these vehicles can do, because especially when you come to big cities like New York, a lot of people aren't oh. doing this on their day to day. Why are we <laughs> saying we're in a Jeep? But, but wait, wait, wait. wait, are you? <laughs> Kim, are you with John okay. Spry? How's he doing? Yeah. I'm with John Spry, and John, John Spry is tossing around in the back seat. Oh, man. He has He's done this before, steady. so He's he knew. Great. Okay. Okay, so that was awesome. oh, oh, this is interesting. Look at the what is this, Lauren? So this is our breakover. We have what's called an electronic sway bar disconnect, which really just gives more flexibility to your front axles to crawl over stuff like this without your tires what coming off that? the ground. Okay, it's a lot smoother ride for us. Look at this, Charlene. I knew. So we do have our oh. off-road pages up. We'll get 40 degrees of pitch at the very top. Of 40 the degrees this of is pitch. Fully uh, Shirley. Too, so. Oh my! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're at the top. How high are we? Stop for a minute, Lauren. Can we stop? We're a little over 30 feet high in the air right now. We're 30 feet high in yes, the air we are. in a Jeep. What, what, why would you ever be 30 feet in the air well, in your car in real life? If you're off roading, like there's plenty of places. You have Colorado, you have you know, Utah, <laughs> where people are going off roading. They're doing crazier stuff than this, so we're really okay. showing off what these vehicles can do. Do you love doing this I obstacle course? This. I can Good tell. Time. You're like all in it. All right, we're going to go down now. So we'll throw on our little safety net right there, the four safety net. camera, which oh, is kind of a nice oh. little spotter for you. Oh, okay. And down we go. It's down we go. It's going down as well, and we're just going to go nice and slow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, I'm like almost, I, I see why I have on my seatbelt. I'd be through the windshield. <laughs> okay. Lauren. Just like that. Not Lauren, hi. <laughs> And you did it. I did it. I did it. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Guys, I did it. That's the end of the obstacle course. But coming up later on Eyewitness News, I'm going to take you inside. There are more than a dozen, about a dozen, never be seen before, never before seen yeah. vehicles, including there's a QX, let me look at my notes, the QX80. There's a biometric sensor in the roof on the inside of the car. Say you get too warm, 
the temperature inside automatically adjusts. So Whoa. I'll show you that. Oh, Whoa. I like that. Okay. Um, and a big round of applause to photojournalist yeah. John Spry in the back as well. That was just amazing. John Spry tossing around in the back. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> nice that guys. was really cool to see. Live television, folks. Kimberly, we're glad you're okay, <laughs> you guys. Uh, the New York International Auto Show is buzzing with the newest and hottest cars. You got to come out and check it out. Um, we're taking you on an electrifying ride to see all of this. Catch in the fast lane hosted by meteorologist Lee Goldberg and Brittany Bell, as well as sports anchor Ryan Field. Mm -hmm. It is this Saturday at 7 p.m.